Okay. It's uh, Saturday morning. You got to get ready for your kids' outdoor soccer game. Thank you, COVID. In Chicago, heart of the Midwest. That means that you check the weather first. It's 36, but that, I'll say, don't, don't allow yourself to be fooled. It's 36, but it feels like... But it feels like... 30 degrees. 30 degrees, which means you dress for 30 degrees. So this is how you start. You layer up. When I moved here 24 years ago, someone said, you don't dress fashionably in the winter, you F fashion, and that's what you do. You start with tights. Yes, tights. Not too thick. You know why? Because you're not gonna wear regular jeans like these ones. No, 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 no. You are gonna wear something that the awesome people from at least in this case, Old Navy created, lined jeans. You see it here? They're lined and fuzzy. They are so nice and warm. You put, this is your first layer, but then the top. You don't have to worry too much about the top because you're gonna wear an obnoxiously heavy coat. But the top needs a long sleeve shirt. Listen, this one is not bad because this one is synthetic and uh, it keeps you warm. And it doesn't matter what it says because remember, you're not thinking about fashion and then you're gonna gotta get a sweater. Come on, you must go get a sweater. You don't want a wool sweater because you may overheat in your excitement because your child is doing well, but you need a good sweater that fits nicely inside your coat. This is a good sweater for 30 with a t-shirt under. Now, let's say it was even colder, then you go with the hardcore, all right? But not today. All right, but wait till you see my kid dressed and wait until you see what I have to do out there. Wow. As I dress, my lovely husband is getting the soccer superstar ready. As you can see, he also starts, what do we have here, Steve? Uh, we've got some leggings and also a <laughs> thermal top. Show the people what you're wearing, Alex. Your nice outfit. Hello. Yeah. I'm a ninja. So he's you're ready a for ninja. Mission Impossible. All right. Now you put his uniform on top. See where we go. Yes, the uniform goes over. It's blue jersey today. Blue jersey. These are these are long johns that you know you purchase, and then his shirt. So how do your kids play football or soccer wherever you are? Do they have to layer up like this? Alex, how does it feel to play in all that? Uh, weird. Weird, I know, it's better to not have to. And then that's it, this is how he plays with a hat. He has his gloves and another sweatshirt and this is a gator for his neck if he needs it. You give him all the options, but he's seven so he'll probably just play like that. Oh, you're gonna dye your hair? Yeah. Oh, that helps with the weather. Obviously. You need to get some fuel in you and get some coffee on one of these cans and drink that constantly. And uh, of course I pick cafe butelo because it not only keeps me hot, warm, but it keeps me up because this game is obscenely early. You see? The sun's not even out. Okay. It's trying hard. It's trying hard. Come on, Curie. Come on, boo. I'm roasting in this. That's the problem. Once you're dressed, because I'm wearing my Uggs too. Your feet are very important. If this gets cold and your hands get cold, you're screwed. But if you stay too long inside, now I'm roasting and I really need to be outside. Hey, keep your hat on, okay? Where's your ball? All right, and you have your gloves in your pocket, okay? All right, here we go. Don't be cold. Don't take your coat off if you're cold, okay? I oh, mean. No, he's perfect to play soccer, don't you think? <laughs> okay, I'll help you. The wind is what messes you up. That's why I need my hood up and see everyone around me. See, parents have gone back to their cars because it's too darn cold. But you do it for your kids and then look how far the kids are from us. 
I don't even think my son knows that I'm here. Oh, and the little chair too, just in case. So how are you spending your sports Sunday or Saturday with your kids? Is it dressed like you're in Siberia? Leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe. It's halftime. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. See, they're kind of reddish. Yeah. Um, I'm from an island. This is not normal and I don't like sports. I'm freezing, freezing, and I don't know, do I have to go back back out there? Like, you saw how far I am from him. And I, I just yelled his name and he waved so he knows I'm here. So I could potentially just stay in here. Let me blast the heater, you hear it? I'm blasting the heater. Well, do you do you watch the whole 30 minutes? Do you watch the, actually they're 90 minutes. Do I have to watch them all? He already scored a goal and I saw it, so I can tell him that, right? Because it's 30 degrees. And, and, and I have island blood. What do I do? I mean, I love the boy, but I can't feel my fingers. So this is what you do. At halftime, you come in here, you leave your chair over there. You come in here and you warm up your fingers. And then you go, all right, we're gonna head out. Watch the last 30 minutes of seven-year-olds running around in the weather. <sighs> Second half. And we're back because we're good parents. And even if the kid doesn't even know that I'm here, I'm gonna go watch him. Look at the line of cars. Everybody parks real close to the after, which is real far away from us. the kids are my kids playing in there somewhere yeah so I've got my chair set up here see the chair set up and I'm gonna sit right here and watch and freeze you think the Sun is keeping me warm no the Sun's not keeping me warm not for one minute <sighs> don't forget to subscribe so you can keep seeing me freezing my butt off in beautiful Chicago Look at, look at, look at. You see? There's a dad giving instructions to his kid. I have no idea what to say because I'm froze. Would you be able to put up with this? Sit in 30 degree weather, watch your kid play soccer? You do it because you're a good parent, but it's miserable. Leave me a comment. If you've never lived in this kind of weather, what do you want to know? Don't forget to subscribe.